Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting system of equation. We have x plus 1 times y plus 1 equal to 12 and second equation in this system xy times x plus y is 30. We have to find out real solutions. I will showcase two different methods to solve this problem or rather is to say two different approaches. Let me call equation 1 and equation 2 and this method is method number 1. I will begin with the very first equation x plus 1 times y plus 1 equal to 12. Let us expand x times y xy x times 1 x 1 times y y 1 times 1 1 equal to 12. Take away 1 from both sides. So xy plus x plus y equal to 11. Now let me call this e equation is third one, equation number three. And now I will write equation number two. It is xy times x plus y equal to 30, this equation. Now you can see if I will consider one equation whose roots are xy and x plus y, xy and x plus y, then first one is sum of roots. And second equation means equation number 2 is product of roots. So I can presume the product of root is 30 and the sum of root is 11. So let me frame one quadratic equation in k, in other variable k, so that I can solve this equation and I can find out xy and x plus y. So we know that sum of roots times k plus product of roots and remember roots of equation are of this quadratic equation we will have that is xy and x plus y. So let me write here roots xy and x plus y. So let's frame this equation first. So I will put the value equal to 0 k square minus sum of root 11. So I will write 11k plus product of root 30. 30 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation whose roots are xy and x plus y. So we will solve this quadratic equation and I will equate both of the roots xy and x plus y respectively. k square minus 11k plus 30 equal to 0. Let me solve this quadratic equation first. Minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so 2. 11 plus minus square root 121 minus 120 square root 1 1 divided by 2. 11 plus 1 12 12 over 2 6. 11 minus 1, 10, 10 over 2, 5. Now we know that k value is xy means roots of the equation x plus y. So I can frame now one system of equation. Let me write here if xy is equal to 6 then we have to presume consider x plus y equal to 5. One system of equation and second xy is equal to 5 then x plus y is equal to 6. We will find out our possible solutions by these two system of equations. So let me consider the very first one x y is equal to 6 x plus y equal to 5. x plus y equal to 5 x y is equal to 6. So from second equation I will write y is equal to 6 over x. And let's put this value in the first one. So I will write our equation as x plus 6 over x equal to 5. Multiply equation with x. x is square minus 5x all the term to one side plus 6 equal to 0. Now I will again apply Shridharachar formula. x is equal to minus b. So I will write plus 5 plus minus under the root 
b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So 5 plus minus 1 square root 1 is 1 over 2. So from here I can write 6 over 2 or 4 over 2. So 6 over 2 is 3, 4 over 2 is 2. Now y value is 6 over x. So I will write 6 over 3 and 6 over 2. So this value is 2 and 3. So we have calculated x and y one set for the first system of equation. So I can write if x3 then y2 and if x2 then y3. This is our xy solution so far. Now I will consider second system of equation. It was xy5 x plus y6. So let me write here x plus y6 and x times y is 5. Same way I will calculate y from here 5 over x and I will substitute in the very first equation. So I will get x plus from the same equation x plus 5 over x is equal to 6. x square minus 6x plus 5 equal to 0. Let's apply Sridhachar once again. Minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac. So 20 divided by 2. 6 plus minus square root 16. So 4 over 2. 10 over 2. So 5. 2 over 2. So 1. So once x is 5 and 1. y value will be 5 over x. So y will be 5 over 5 and 5 over 1. So y is coming out 1 and 5. So from second system of equation, we are having x, y values 5 and 1 and 1 and 5. So we have calculated so far 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 5, 5, 1. Now let us consider method number 2. It is general method, conventional one. So let me write here method number 2. I will begin with the very first equation xy plus x plus y. It was 11. And second equation was product xy times x plus y. It was 30. Now I will use substitution method. So let me call x y is equal to a and x plus y equal to b. So first equation will be a plus b equal to 11 and a b is equal to 30. Now same job I will do. I will calculate b from here and b will be 30 over a and I will substitute in the first one. So our first equation of this system would be a plus b equal to 11. So a plus 30 over a equal to 11. Multiply both sides with a. a square minus 11a. Take all the term to one side. Plus 30 equal to 0. Let's apply Sridhachar formula. Minus b so 11 plus minus under the root b square. So 11 a square 121 minus 4 ac 30 times 4 120 divided by 2a so 2 11 plus minus 1 over 2 it would be 12 over 2 so 6 10 over 2 so 5 now you 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 can find out b values at the same time a is 6 and 5 then i can write our b value as 30 over a so let me write here 30 over 6 so 5 30 over 5, so 6. Now, if you will put this value, a, b, let me write here. If, let me consider a is equal to 6. So, a, b equivalent to, I will write 6, 5. Okay. And 5, 6. That means a is 6, then b is 5. So, what I will frame from here, 
same set of equation which I solved in method number 1. x y is equal to 6, x plus y equal to 5. It was our first system of equation and second system of equation of method 1. It was x y is equal to 5, x plus y is equal to 6. So we'll have same set of equations. So we will conclude same results also. So let me write our final answer x y it will be equal to I will write 1 5 5 1 then I will be writing 2 3 and 3 2 2 3 and 3 2 I hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself